things, let's go. That's it. Love you guys. Let's go. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. Gang. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. I've heard a lot of James Bradbury to the Las Vegas Raiders lately. The team just cleared over $7 million in cap space for something. He just made second team all pro, so I would obviously have no problem with it if it were to happen. But the Raiders have a corner they need to keep too. Rakyal Sin is a good, low-key, better-than-you-think corner. Last year, he was one of the best corners in the NFL in man coverage. He allowed just 40% of the passes thrown his way to be caught for no touchdowns and a passer rating of 46.9 in man coverage. That's pretty big because defensive coordinator Patrick Graham loves press man coverage. The Raiders didn't allow a receiver to go over 100 yards receiving while Yassin was healthy from weeks 1 through 13. They only allowed one all season and it was Brandon Ayuk in week 17. As bad as the Raiders' pass defense is, corner isn't the big problem here, especially not Yassin. Therefore, at some point in this free agency period, the Raiders should look to resign him, even if they bring in a top free agent like Bradbury or draft a prospect like Christian Gonzalez. Okay, we're going to start with the bad here. No corner is perfect. See the mistake Yassin has made already on this rep? He committed the cardinal sin of committing or opening up his hips too soon. So he got put in the spin cycle. On this rep, he starts out pretty well, but once he looks back for the ball, he loses track of the receiver and never found track of the ball. Oh, and he's a physical corner, and most physical press man corners get a little grabby at times. And flags are gonna come out. Here he's gonna make the mistake of going with the receiver instead of settling back into a zone where the ball's caught. On this one, they disguise the cover three by lining him up up close, but he doesn't hustle back into his own, and it went for a big play. Now we go to the good. Yasin is a good physical ball player and tackles well. Oh. You know he has a wrestling background, right? Well, he's gonna use it here with this slam. Here's an incomplete pass where Yasin's gonna pick him up right quick just to show him how strong he is. And he's gonna give it to quarterback Kyler Murray when he breaks contain here. Oh. Alright, here we go again. You catch the ball in this area and you got to pay. Oh. Alright, here he is in zone again, and another receiver got to pay. Oh, and he stayed down there for a minute. Oh, and I don't care if you have speed, double moves, whatever. It's not easy to beat Yasin D. Nope, Yasin only gave up four catches of 20 yards or more in 2022. Watch him play the ball through the receiver's hands here. And this one just ain't gonna work out for Keenan Allen. On this one, Juju Smith Schuster's gonna try him on an over route. And nope. But for some reason, opposing teams just kept trying them deep. And that's another no. 
Yes, he gets dialed in in the red zone too. He doesn't have problems with fades or 50-50 balls. That's why he's only giving up one touchdown on the year. He puts his hands on you and stays on you in the red zone. Watch the jam he gets on the receiver here, and he just continues to stay with them. Here he's just gonna mirror his man, take the throw away, then plaster to him in the scramble drill. Then he's gonna rip that ball out of there. Here he's gonna mirror his man without touching him, get a good break on the ball, and get it out of there. Watch him break on this slant right here. Yeah, he can close quickly. Watch him do it again. He plays the ball well to be able to get it out of there too. Now here he is with Keenan Allen and he's gonna run that route with him and almost get one. I've heard the Raiders are going to trade for Jalen Ramsey. Then I heard they're going to get James Bradbury in free agency. I'm starting to hear a little something about the Raiders drafting Christian Gonzalez at number 7 overall too. But whichever one of them they get, they need to keep Yassin, the bird in hand, to go along with one. He fits the Raiders press man scheme and he's an ascending player that's done nothing but get better every year he's been in the league. And since he's not your proven bona fide superstar, he's not going to cost too much. So the Raiders need to go ahead and hold on to him. Thank you for watching. See you next time.